fast because I'm not used to being this high without my parachute. <laughs> Besides, this horse is due back on the merry-go-round by 11 o'clock. Now, I'll tell you the truth is, only one guy in the world I'd do this for. And he just happens to be the nicest guy there is. And I want to bring him out now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Wayne. <laughs> You sure do sit a horse well. I can't tell you how happy I am to have you on the show. Well, I can't tell you how glad I am to be here, Dean. Yep. And I sure want to thank you for getting me such a good horse. Well, that ain't no ordinary horse, pal. They don't say that horse was a zebra before the white knight went by, you know. <laughs> I'm working on a western right now with Kirk Douglas, and I sure wish you were with us. Now I got to give up westerns. It's too hard to read the cue cards when I'm galloping along. <laughs> Well, don't give me that, Dean. We've made two westerns together, and you never missed a line. Don't let this get out, pal, but I was writing Mr. Ed, and he never missed a line. That's what... <laughs> Tell me, Duke, of all the pictures you've ever made, what's your favorite? Well, the one I had taken last week with Marisa, my eight-month-old daughter. Oh, well, that's nice, pal. You know, <coughs> I think it's swell. You, you having all those kids, and especially now having a new little baby, I'm, I'm proud of you, Duke. Well, I'm proud of you, too, Dean. You know, you've got seven. You haven't exactly been sitting around staring at walls, either. Well, well, every, Duke, everybody, you know, seems to love you. And let me ask you something. They all want to know. Here you are, one of the biggest stars in the whole world, been making pictures for 37 years, got a spanking new daughter. Now, what do you want for her, Duke? Well, uh, same as any parent wants, I guess. I'd just like to... Stick around long enough to see she gets started, right? I'd like her to know some of the values that we knew as kids. Some of those values that too many people these days are thinking are old-fashioned. Most of all, I want her to be grateful as I am every day of my life to live in these United States. I know it may sound a little corny... But the first thing my daughter is learning from me is the Lord's Prayer and some of the Psalms. And I really don't care if she ever memorizes the Gettysburg Address, just so long as she understands it. And since little girls are seldom called upon to defend their country, she may never have to raise her hand for that oath. But I'm certainly want her to respect all those who do. I guess uh, that's about what I want for my daughter, Dean. I'm proud to know you, Duke. 